when house rules, including those established around screen time, are broken by our kids. Punishment? Quick to follow? Parenting consultant Judy Arnell says there are alternatives to punishment which can promote healthier outcomes. Judy, thank you for joining us this morning. Thanks for having me. Well, what is, let me play devil's advocate to your advice right off the bat. What's wrong with just saying I'm the parent and no screen time today because you've, you've overstepped boundaries? Well, what happens is if you use taking away screen time as punishment, you tend to shut down communication. And kids need family free flow communication to keep them safe and to navigate all those snafus of yeah. screen time. Yeah. yeah. Now, there, there may still be avenues and times to take things away when rules have been violated, but uh, the rules you're saying should be stout, stated outright and possibly in writing with a contract. Right. Contracts are great because they establish the whole family's rules. So you have the child's needs, the parent needs, and then you have what you have come to agreement with. Okay. So they teach honor, consistency, they help um, kids navigate relationship skills. When is it uh, a right time with age? Is there, is there some time that's too young for this that, that a child can't even read the contract to not move in that direction? Even better, eh? <laughs> <laughs> No, um, about age four is really good when okay. kids start to start learning a little bit about commitment. So, and they can mm. talk and they can not quite read yet, but um, yeah, get it, start at age four and it's really, really good for the preteen, teen years. Yeah. Then they can um, read it, they can put input into it. What are the best things to have in that contract if, if it's regarding screen time specifically? Or does it include other rules too? Uh, any rules you want, but I would, as a family, I would get in there rules around sleep. So we turn off all our technology about one to two hours before bedtime. We get to reading on books or things. Mm -hmm. um, the other thing is exercise. That's a concern for parents is do our kids get enough exercise? So, and non-tech times. What are the times we don't have technology as a family? I see this as probably benefiting parents as well and that you can actually in your obligations outline when you're going to be off screen because kids who hit 9, 10, 11, they're going to call you out on that anyway. If, if they, it's this contract that forces them off of the screen, but you're always on it. They do. I, if we're on our phones and it's supper time, our kids actually call us out and say, hey, no, no tech time. And um, same thing too, if my husband doesn't take out the garbage, I'm not going to take away his cell phone. I'm going to talk to him. <laughs> you don't do that? <laughs> <laughs> As we should do with our kids. I think I would resort to not taking the garbage out and then I'd be free of my phone as well as a parent. How do you explain that to a child then that um, sometimes you need to be on your phone and connected for work obligations? How do you make that connection and say, is that, does that all go into the contract and all into writing that then you've got to uphold that you get your work done in a certain time? That's part of the negotiation. So a really good non-punitive contract says, as a parent, I will never take away your devices. But as a child, you have to talk to me and negotiate on these mm -hmm. boundaries. Mm -hmm. And if kids have more buy-in, they're more likely to honor it. I think the whole family should understand, too, that that's a fluid contract. Yes. And, hey, this hasn't been working this month. Let's make this little adjustment. Absolutely. You have a book. You're flying to London tonight, in fact, you say, to, <laughs> to meet with your distributor and publishers. Uh, but your book, Attachment Parenting Tips, it's available in bookstores locally? It's available at Amazon because right now it's still an ebook, okay. but it's going to be print soon. Ebooks are the greatest way to go these yeah, days. It's on I your think. phone. There you go. All right, Judy, thank you so much for providing a little bit of insight on how we can sort of get grip as we head well into October, quickly here in the school season. Book available again on Amazon. Thank, thank you. Thank you.